Welcome back everybody. In this Swift iOS tutorial, we're going to go over how you can add sounds to your iOS projects, and then we're going to create a game that uses those sounds. Okay, so this is the game we're going to create. And when we press the play sound button, it's going to play a random animal sound. Then we want to click the animal image that matches the animal sound. And then the game will tell us if we're right or wrong. Let's go ahead and try it out. So that sounds like a dog, but let's choose wolf and see what happens. And the message says no, not a wolf. Let's choose dog. And we get the message that we were correct. That sounds like a bear, but let's choose lion. Not a lion. Yes, bear. Now that's a wolf. And we get yes. <laughs> now that sounds like a chicken, but let's choose wrong and choose duck. Not a duck. Yes, chicken. Okay, so that sounds like a whale, but let's choose dolphin. Not a dolphin. Yes, whale. Okay. Now let's go over how we created this project. The first thing we did is we set up our storyboard. Everything on our storyboard is either a button or a label. To access the button and label objects, we click on the plus. Then you can do a search, or since the label and buttons are right at the top, we can just drag those on, like that. Then, to hook up a label or button, click on it, hold down control, and drag over to your code. Okay, so as we mentioned, everything on the storyboard is either a button or a label. So here we have a button. All of these images are also buttons. Here we have a label, and here we have a label. If we click on one of these images, that is also a button, and we pull up the right sidebar here, we can see that it says button, and each button has a title associated. For the bear image, the title is bear. For the chicken, we have chicken. For the dog, we have dog, and so on. You'll also notice that each button has an image associated here. And to choose those images, you just click the drop down. Before you can use custom images and sounds, you have to pull them into your project. You can see that we've already pulled in our sounds here and our images here. To show you real quick how you can pull in images and sounds, here we have a folder. So all you have to do is just click on it and hold and drag and pull it into your project. Then for the destination, we're going to use copy items if needed. For added folders, we're going to use create groups and add to targets we're going to add to the main project. To show that everything on our storyboard is hooked up to our code, we can hover over this circle here. And you'll notice as we hover over the circle, it highlights the label or buttons on the storyboard. So here we have our answer label. Here we have the play sound button. And you'll notice that the buttons are actions and the labels are outlets. And this function is associated with all of the button images. Let's go ahead and close our storyboard for now and go over our code. The first thing we did is we went ahead and imported AV Foundation. Then, inside the View Controller class, we have created an instance of the AV Audio Player class for audio playback. Next, we created an array of the animal sounds we're going to use. And notice that these names here match these names here, exactly. And these are the MP3 audio files that we pulled into the project. And those come from GarageBand. Here, we have created an empty random choice variable to hold the animal sounds that are chosen at random. And those are the animal sounds you hear when you press the play button. This button here. 
Initially, we have created this as an empty variable, and we have created this variable here, so the scope will allow us to use it in another function later as well. We've gone ahead and set the answer label to a blank string, and that is this label here, okay? And we put that in the view did load so that when the view loads, initially it is blank. All of this code here is hooked up to our play sound button. And basically what this will do is it will choose an animal sound at random and play that sound from these MP3 audio files here. Okay, so each time the play sound button is clicked, it's going to reset the label, this label here. And to choose an animal sound at random, we're going to use the sounds array dot random element. Next, to load and play the sounds, we're going to use a do try catch. To create the audio path, we're going to use bundle dot main dot path. And this is where we're going to put in the random choice. And the audio file type is mp3. Then we use our do try. We're going to use the player variable that we created here. And then we're going to assign the AV audio player with a URL using the audio path. Then we go ahead and use player.play. And then here we can use the catch to catch and process the errors. Next, here we have all of the code that's hooked up to our animal image buttons. And this is the code that allows us to click the play sound button and then compare that animal sound to the animal image that we click. And if they match, it's going to tell us that we're correct. And if they don't match, it's going to tell us that we're not correct. Okay, so when we click one of these image buttons, it's going to activate this function. And recall that the random choice is a random animal sound chosen from this list. So initially we created that as an empty variable. Then we set it here. Then here we're going to use it in our comparison. So, for example, if we click this button and it ends up being the bear, then bear is going to be assigned to this variable. Okay, so we click the play sound button, it's bear, and then if we click the bear image and they match, then the answer is correct. So we're comparing the animal title from the sound to the title from the image. So if they match and it's correct, it's going to tell us here. And it's also going to make the text green. If it does not match, it falls to the else, and the text will become red. Let's go ahead and run the code one more time and try it out. And that's the dog. And that's the bear. And the cat. I know that's not right, but. We tried it, and yes, it's the chicken. Okay, so that's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.